and an engineer at NARF helped them, and they made a very crude cruise control computer, which was nothing more than a uh, round disk that did had some capability of telling us quickly how much fuel was going to be used for various things at altitude. This all went on pretty well until towards Christmas when we went on the first weapons deployment. We went over El Centro primarily to just shoot gunnery. We took the F-4Us to do the towing of the banners. And we right off the bat, we found out that there was a lot more to shooting air-to-air -air gunnery than there had been in the props. It didn't bother this Air Force guy. He, right off the bat, started shooting 18 to 20 percent on a banner that the rest of us was happy to get one or two percent. So we had a long way to go, but Ted was great in helping us with the problem. We finished the deployment, came back to North Island, and now it is getting ready time to start field carrier work right after the first of the year. And we did that at Brown Field. There were two guys, LSO, uh, Tom Mix and Emmett Boutwell. Both of them were outstanding guys. They uh, were going to make the cruise with us. Uh, they really knew their business. They had checked out in jets, but they were not going to care call. So they did a good job with us, and we only had one real problem up to that time with the airplane, and that was that with, we still thought we had to fly around with the canopy open for landings and takeoffs, and the airplane had a terrible airflow through the cockpit that just buffeted the hell out of your head. The, uh, Grumman people immediately put a fix on. I think they had recognized it and probably already had it in the mill, just hadn't been financed for it. They put two tabs on the wind, on the uh, crossbow on the canopy, uh, excuse me, on the windshield that was spring-loaded to pop up when you opened the canopy. And then when the canopy closed on them, it, it would shut them down. They were maybe an inch or an inch and a half at, the most, but it absolutely solved the problem, and it was great they did because it was pretty difficult flying FCLPs with the canopy open. Then we got to go to board the Bach, the Valley Forge for uh, care calls. As well as I remember, we loaded out uh, each squadron loaded uh, everybody but ten pilots and ten aircraft and they were flown out to the ship. And it was primarily a jet show, although the other ships were, other air group, other squadrons were gonna uh, also care call. They immediately found out we had a lot of problems with the carrier ops. First, one of the first things we found out is nobody had thought that maybe we might need a blast deflector behind the jets on the catapults. So that was going to be a problem. Also, we had to have the engines modified for av gas since there was going to be no JP fuel on the ship. There again, we lost some uh, ETUs out of each gallon of fuel, so we further degraded the airplane's capability. And the airplanes had been delivered, but they had even taken off the uh, rocket racks it had no capability at all except 20 millimeters the four in the nose and we had never even strafed with them before we deployed we didn't know too much about that